Hello and welcome to this week's Calorie Crush video. If you, in case you're new here, here's the basics. My name's Carla, I'm nearly 50, I'm perimenopausal and I've recently started HRT. I'm limited regarding exercise due to bone on bone knees and lymphedema. I'm ex-slimming rod, ex-weight watchers and I've tried at home hypnotherapy. I've considered weight loss surgery and I'm not planning to take that route. Since starting calorie counting, I've lost seven and a half stone, I regained just over two stone, and my current overall loss is just over five stone. Let's get on with the video. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's What I Call the Calorie Crush, very much Miranda's mum, What I Call the Calorie Crush. Welcome to my filming corner, which has now got a sofa in it. Everything changes constantly. Do you know the one thing that doesn't change constantly? Carla doesn't stick to a diet. That's one thing that does not change constantly or indeed at all. This week, I haven't even tracked. I haven't opened my NutriCheck app. I, don't, I think I don't think I've opened it once. The entire week, I don't think I've opened that app once. For some peculiar reason, I did still go out and do a healthy food shop. I went to Aldi and bought quite a lot of decent healthy food. But I haven't remotely tracked calories in the slightest. And I don't know why. I've been saying this for months. I don't know why. I don't know why I don't stick to it. I don't know why. I don't, I don't know. I don't know why. Sorry, I'm trying to put my slipper back on. Bear with me. What was I saying before my slipper went off and left me? It just wasn't. I'm just not there. I, I don't know how to get there. I mean, a lot. I, I, I keep thinking about all of the things. People always say, think of what made you start this in the first place. And what started this in the first place was the amount of pain when I was in when I was trying to get about. And that pain did get better for a while. And now it's back. And is it the two stone that's caused the pain, you know, or, or you know, because I'm still five stone lighter. I was I lost seven stone. I've gained back two and a bit. I'm still five stone lighter. But my pain levels seem to be almost back to where they were before I lost anything. Is it the two stone? Is that two stone the tipping point as far as my knees are concerned? I don't know. All I know is that this week I just haven't. I just haven't. I did get on the scales this morning because what's the point of doing a weight update video without a, without a weigh in? But I didn't record it again. I put the thing in from the app here so you can see. 307.6, which I always round up as you know, 308. Last week I was 304.6, which I rounded up to 305, so that's £3 on again. This is half a stone heavier than I was when I restarted, haha, -ha, restarted in the new year, half a stone heavier than then. If I gain half a stone every four months, because we've now done four months of this new year, if I gain half a stone every four months, oh, I don't know, I'll be back to where I started from, I, I don't know. I just know that this week I didn't want to. I didn't want to play nicely. And I haven't wanted to play nicely for a long time now. And this week I didn't even pretend to myself that I was trying. Most weeks, most days, I wake up and I start. I wake up and I go, right, OK, fresh start, off we go. Right, OK, today's going to be a good day. This week I haven't even done that. This week I haven't even woken up and gone, today's going to be a good day. I've gone nothing at all. It's not that I've woken up and gone, today I'm going to do what the heck I like. It's just that I've got... This is, I've behaved as though a diet is something I've never even heard of, as though eating healthily doesn't exist for me. It's not the answer. <laughs> it's not the answer because I feel awful again. I feel sluggish. I'm in pain. I'm not sleeping well. It's not the answer. It's not the future, is it? The having a bigger meal at lunchtime is working up to a point so it's i have a big big meal at lunchtime and i don't tend to have my lunch that early usually I have my lunch about half past one two o'clock and if i have a bigger lunch like my main meal at lunchtime then i'm not really interested in an, a meal at what i call tea time at, at, at five six o'clock but it has had the backfiring effect of the fact that then when i'm around about eight o'clock i'm snacky then and i've been snacking in bed this week which like last thing at night, I've been like, I'll have I'll have a snack, but I've not been having a snack. I've been having a handful of snacks. So 
let's work on that next. Every, every week I say, right, let's work on this thing. Let's work on that thing. Let's see if I can sort that out. Let's see if I can do this, that and the other thing. And every week I do none of them. And, and at the moment, it seems like every week I just accumulate another bad habit instead of getting rid of any of them. I need, I need to work on my willpower. And I've just cut out a whole chunk from this video of things that I, that I kind of just spouted about and didn't really do a very good job of explaining but if you're watching this and you're about to type a comment telling me what the problem is I know what the problem is I know I know I eat too much sugar I know I'm addicted to the sweet stuff I know in the same way that if I smoked I'd know I was addicted to cigarettes that I don't need to be told what my problem is I'm just sitting here going, I don't know how to deal with my problem. That's all I'm doing. I didn't want to make this video today. I didn't want to. I, di I, I didn't want to. It's, it's, um, I'll tell you how much I didn't want to. It's half past three in the afternoon. I normally make the calorie crush video first thing in the morning. And I didn't want to to the extent that I talked to myself in and out of making the video all day. All day I've talked to myself and said, oh, well, just don't do it this week. Just skip a week. Just... Just just skip a week and go and maybe you'll have a good week and then when you go when you do it next week you'll have something good to say. And then I've argued myself back again and said, No, you need to do it because if you don't do it, people will message you asking you why you haven't done it and people wonder and people expect to see it and and if you don't do it then you're just making excuses and that's not facing up to what you've done, that's not facing up to to the issues you've got. You know, you've got you've got to carry on confronting this head on and then I've swung back the other side of the seesaw and gone yes but I could, I could just skip a week because I haven't got anything good to say I haven't got anything worth saying and I don't see how anything that I could say today could help anyone with how I've been this week and then I swing back to the side and say okay don't do it then just skip a week. <laughs> and here we are at half past three in the afternoon I flip flop back and forth all day and I decided I would make it but I can't I can't make it good can't make it into a good video and I can't make it into anything helpful and I'm not on some kind of crusade to help everybody else lose weight this was always about dealing with my issues and sorting out my problem and yet many of you have messaged over the last few years and said that watching me do it has helped you now I worry that watching me fail will disillusion you or dis dis what's the word dis discourage or discourage you in some way so now I feel the responsibility of everybody else's weight loss as well as my own <laughs> and I can't eat well for one person let alone 3,000 <laughs> this again has just been me rambling on about the fact that I haven't stuck to a diet this week and that's what this is pretty much every week at the moment so maybe I'll just start putting in the thumbnail more of the same and then you'll know whether to bother watching it or not instead of expecting miracles but Again, when people listen to me saying this, they go, well, why are you bothering them? Why are you still making these videos? Why are you, why are you bothering if, you, you know, if you're not going to do it? And I'm like, because if, I feel like if I stop, I'll crash and burn. I feel like if I stop making the videos altogether and if I stop trying, I will inflate like a helium balloon. I will eat, I will eat badly so quickly that I'll be possibly twice the size I was before before long. Thank you, as always, for listening to me ramble. Thank you for caring. Thank you for showing an interest. Thanks for being there. And I will, uh, I'll come back next week. I'll come back next week and, and bore you all a bit more. Bye, Molly. Take care. Bye for now.